the gelatinase test. In a gelatinase test, we are trying to determine the production of an enzyme known as gelatinase that is capable of breaking down the polysaccharide gelatin. Gelatin is a derivative of collagen, and pathogenic organisms capable of gelatinase production may also be able to produce collagenase, sometimes considered a virulence factor. For this media, gelatin is used as the solidifying agent instead of agar. The inoculation is a simple stab inoculation, however you should use a loop instead of a needle. You will need an ample amount of bacteria for this test to obtain the best results. Using aseptic technique, gather a large amount of bacteria on the end of your loop. As you can see here, the bacteria is actually visible on the loop. Then stab the gelatin agar with the loop. Be sure to sterilize your loop in between each inoculation. Since gelatin is the solidifying agent used for the media, and we are testing for the production of gelatinase, if gelatinase is produced, the gelatin can no longer allow the media to remain solid. In this case, after incubation and sitting at room temperature, if the media becomes a liquid, it is considered positive for the production of gelatinase. If it remains solid, the organism will be considered negative. Once you have completed inoculation of the tubes, make sure that they are labeled with which bacteria is in each one. Then place into the incubator in preparation for the next lab period. Interpretation of results. There are a few steps you will need to take after incubation of the tubes. First, after removing the tubes from the incubator, you will want to place them on ice for approximately 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, take them out of the ice bath, put them in a test tube rack, and allow them to sit at room temperature for about 10 minutes. Here are the results for a positive and a negative gelatinase test. Notice at the top, this organism is positive. The media has liquefied since gelatinase has broken down the gelatin that was present in the media. The tube at the bottom is negative. No gelatinase was produced, so the gelatin is still present and it's able to make the media remain solid. The gelatinase test is a relatively easy test to run, and results are simple to interpret. Gelatinase activity in pathogenic organisms is oftentimes associated with rheumatoid or other inflammatory diseases of the joints.